salutations and a clinch fist salute, you two renegades. Welcome and good morning, everybody. Um, February is almost over, apparently. So today, your boys outlaws just coming through to drop some knowledge and smash on these snitch influencers real quick on these false rumors they're spreading. So, some of you may have heard or may have not heard. Apparently, last week, law enforcement conducted what they called Operation Nightmare in Tulare County. Yes, Tulare County. The place you should be scared of because there's cartel activity hundreds of miles away in Southern California, Riverside County. You should be scared of the cartel activity in Tulare County, which there isn't. So apparently, federal agencies such as ATF, DEA, and Homeland Security, and local law enforcement conducted a massive operation called Operation Nightmare. Didn't they just conduct that same damn operation to catch the two PC dropouts that killed the PC dropouts at the Goshen Massacre? But yet, they're conducting Operation Nightmare again. Now, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to this Operation Nightmare. And I'm using the Vesalia Times Delta. And it, theirs is titled, Operation Nightmare Continues to Target Norteño's Prison Gangs. So it goes, I'm not going to read the whole thing. It, it's basically saying federal agencies and local agencies targeted the Norteño's gang. Okay? The DEA, ATF, and prison authorities. So more or less what they're saying is that they wasted millions of taxpayers' dollars for nothing. Because that's what happened. Your taxpayers' dollars just got wasted to conduct a needless operation while your schools lack supplies and while your teachers get paid crumbs to work. These guys in law enforcement get hundreds of thousands of dollars to conduct needless operations. According to them, they served 18 arrest warrants, seized several firearms, drugs, a total of 97 homes were searched. Now, I guarantee you <clears throat> that all that evidence that they're showing up on their little screen of the drugs and all that, half of that will not even show up into the evidence when it comes to court. Because they just went and got it out of the evidence room, put it on a table with a few other items they got, and said, hey, look, look at this massive operation that we got. And in three months, we'll use half of this stuff for another operation and put it on the table and say they had it. The focus, though, apparently, of this operation was to attack the Nuestra Familia because of the Goshen Massacre that happened in January. Okay. Why would you attack the Nuestra Familia in Norteño's gang if the said individual who committed the shooting, and it's obviously the ringleader between the two, is a self-admitted PC. And the reason, and it's not just the fact that the shooter was an active PC, the guy who was the intended victim, Ilalio Parza, was also a PC himself. Action News obtained court documents showing a past feud involving suspect Angel Uriarte and the Parras family. In 2014, Uriarte was arrested for shooting at the girlfriend of Eladio Parras. It happened in this area of Betty Drive in Goshen, which was the site of the wooden shoe RV park and campground at the time. In the report, Parras told deputies that his family had a, quote, extensive history and feud with Uriarte. He goes on to say that he did not involve himself with the feud any longer, but knew that his nephew and Uriarte did not get along. Parras also said his girlfriend was getting out of his nephew's car when shots were fired. He said he felt whoever shot at his girlfriend was looking for his nephew. That doesn't condone what happened to the family. That is some fucked up shit that happened to the family. 
But the fact is, the fact is that the individuals directly involved with the shooting are active gang members or associated with the Nuestra Familia or Norteños. They're dropouts. And the individual at the home who's allegedly a Sureño who's running the Mexican Mafia drug operation who gets their drugs from the Mexican cartels who supplied with chemicals to make the drugs from the Chinese government. Remember? The wild conspiracy? The guy was a PC himself. The reason why said individual had hatred for this family was because they had previously, several family members from the house had previously had previously testified against said individual against the main individual who was believed to be the ringleader in the shooting. Again, I don't want to say their names. They don't deserve they don't deserve that. So the victims were PCs, the shooters were PCs, yet why are they targeting the Nuestra Familia and Norteños gang? And this isn't a massive raid. This is a fucking bullshit raid. Do you even know how law enforcement conducts these raids? What they do is they go to parole officers, probation officers, give me a list of any known active gang members, high-risk active gang members that are on probation or parole on the streets right now. Then they go to law enforcement, and they look at their database. They look at their database, their gang database. Then they look at, for any known active member, any active gang members who have recently had contact with law enforcement in the past two years. And then those are the houses they raid. They don't have no knowledge. There's no investigation done to directly link these guys to any Norteño gangs or any prison organization. All it is is going through their database of people who've had contact with law enforcement in the past two years who are known to be gang members and high-risk probation and parolees who get their houses searched. What are the odds? They searched 97 homes. 97 gang members, 97 parolees, 97 probationaries. Of course you're going to find shit. It's fucking obvious. You search 100 homes of suspected criminals, you're going to find something illegal to arrest people for. And then you round them all up together and say you conducted this massive operation to clean the streets and make it safe while wasting Millions of taxpayers' money. This is a bullshit operation. And it's clear that it's a bullshit operation because apparently to them, they claim that they searched. Uh, let's see. Let me see how many cells they're claiming here they searched. Um, 23 cells. And again, remember, the first time when they arrested these PC dropouts for shooting the so-called Sureños, in Goshen, they also searched so-called Nuestra Familia and Norteño gang members inside the prison cells. No one was arrested. Did you see the first one ever mention anyone in prison charged with anything? No. Again, like I told you in the first video, they search cells in prison every day. That doesn't mean they're linked to anything. They're just doing their fucking job inside of prison. What our taxpayers' dollars go for? Search fucking cells. Again, 23 cells. They didn't arrest no Nuestra Familia members. No Norteños inside a prison are being held in solitary confinement pending federal charges related to this. They just searched, apparently, 23 people's cells inside the prisons. And we just... Throw a label on and say, hey, they're Nuestra Familia. We don't know who these individuals are. Why don't they list their names? So we can verify, hey, wait, that's allegedly a Nuestra Familia member. Hey, wait, that's allegedly a Norteño member. But they don't. 
because you'll see that it's fucking bullshit. So apparently there's all this information that this is some Nuestra Familia sanction hit gone wrong, right? But yet again, no Nuestra Familia members are going to be arrested, questioned, or anything related to this crime. But yet we got the snitch influencer community pushing it as if it is some sort of Nuestra Familia hit gone wrong. Yeah, the Nuestra Familia with their mystery bank accounts of billions of dollars that all these PCs and dropouts and informants have never testified to or led their law enforcement handlers to seize is pushing this as if the Nuestra Familia is somehow linked to it. And then on top of that, you got Flacco from Convict's Perspective telling his viewers that law enforcement has surveillance photos of the Nuestra Familia Regiment Commander socializing with these alleged individuals who committed the ma- the Goshen Massacre. Um, you know, as I said, there's a fucking picture with the fucking the regiment commander with uh, uh, of that area with one of the shooters in the massacre fucking hugging each other. You know what I'm saying? That speaks volumes. They had them under surveillance. Here we have an operation a month after this massacre. Law enforcement, according to Flacco, has photos of the regiment commander from the Nuestra Familia just prior or after these murders. There's no Nuestra Familia regiment commander arrested in Operation Nightmare. So if they were conducting this massive operation with surveillance and have photos of the regiment commander as Flacco claims, which he doesn't show you, why the fuck wouldn't law enforcement arrest the regiment commander on this Operation Nightmare operation? Because it's fucking bullshit. Snitch influencer prison boogeyman stories. Now, these same fucking snitch influencers, remember, right now are telling people that this is a Nuestra Familia sanctioned hit gone wrong. That the Nuestra Familia does not tolerate stuff like this or allow stuff like this in the organization. Now, I don't know who's fucking stupid or here. The snitch influencer community themselves or their fanboy groupies. Because you can go into any of these morons video content library and go about a month or two back and you'll see a video of them and multiple snitch influencers made videos on Armando Quinn, the alleged number three guy in the Nuestra Familia who was murdered or shot by prison guards during a fight. Armando Quinn is in jail, and I did my video on this, for killing a 13 or 14-year-old girl who his friend had raped, and he was allegedly going to attempt to rape. The said individual who's the number three guy in the Nuestra Familia. Now, I'm not saying it. I'm just regurgitating the lie that the snitch influencer community is spreading. I do not even think the Nuestra Familia would allow some scumbag like that in their organization. Okay? But according to the snitch influencer community, today, the Nuestra Familia has morals and would not tolerate something like that. But a month or two, a month or two ago, the Nuestra Familia would tolerate their number three leader being a convicted child killer and rapist. This is the reality of fucking YouTube, that the snitch fanboys are so stupid that they can't even bother to comprehend that, wait, the motherfuckers told me last month that the number three guy is a convicted child killer and rapist and now they're telling me a month later that the Nuestra Familia would not tolerate something like this. Okay. Fucking bullshit they sell you guys. I don't need paperwork to expose these guys. 
Their fucking mouths do it themselves if you just paid attention to them for a moment. Again, no Nuestra Familia members or Norteños are arrested in this, will be arrested in this, or associated to this. Again, if they did arrest any Nuestra Familia or charge anyone from the Nuestra Familia or Norteños that were in prison, law enforcement would have posted their names. They posted every other name of people that was arrested on charges related to Operation Nightmare. Not one was incarcerated. Okay? But yet, somehow, this is related to prison shit. These guys, well, at least said individual, Nanu, the main guy who has to be, there's no way, has to be the instigator in this, is a fucking dropout. Now, the other guy probably is a dropout. Who knows? But logical thinking would tell you that if said individual that was targeted was protected by law enforcement, and that's why he was released early after he had been previously arrested on a parole violation for numerous guns, drugs, and body armor possession, was also a said police informant. So again, the victim, who was originally the intended target, and several other people at the house had testified against the individual who was the shooter or one of the shooters, who also self-admitted to law enforcement years ago in 2014, 2015, that he is a Norteño dropout, a PC, an SNY. So why CDCR? isn't fucking on the protective custody yard searching the new flower cells. Northern Riders, oh, sorry, the Riders, because J-Cat, right? Playboy president, changed the name. Or the two fibers. How come they're not being blasted on the media that we're searching their cells because one of their peoples was out here committing the Goshen Massacre. Nope. It has to be a mainliner, right? It has to be a GP boogeyman. Yet, we still have never seen a seized prison bank account. Yet, we've never seen a court conviction based on a conviction saying, hey, said individual in Pelican Bay Shoe or Corcoran Shoe or Tehachapi Shoe has X amount of millions of dollars in his bank account and are illegal. And we are going to charge him with federal fraud and money laundering charges. Nope. Here we have this wonderful story of how the Nuestra Familia is being fucking arrested and taken down. Now, if they want to waste yours and my taxpayers' dollars, why don't they waste those tax dollars searching S and Y cells? Do you think it is a waste of taxpayers' dollars searching cells and trying to link individuals who have nothing to do with this when in fact the individuals who are all connected to this, both victims and shooters, all come from S and Y and PC? Do you ever see massive operations launched to go out after the riders, the two fivers? No. Law enforcement knows they're functioning out on the streets. They're working together cohesively, running drug operations and supposedly taxing and robbing Nuestra Familia and Emmett drug spots, conducting credit card fraud operations. Hasn't anyone seen Christian Vinesford's Special report on the two fivers or the deaths and white gangs. They have surveillance footage of these guys. They know these guys are out here committing crimes in the name of that PC, the PC gangs. But there's no massive task force going after them. Instead, the PCs come out, commit a crime, and the GP mainliners get blamed for it, right? Are billions of tax dollars annually being wasted to search cells 
and conduct operations that don't need to be. I'd rather my teacher and my school get that money. What do you think? Leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Am I going overboard? Or are the snitch influencers just fucking spreading a bunch of fucking lies again? And they'll continue to do it. Until somebody like me, the outlaw, calls their bitch asses out. So like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. And I will be dropping my Julius Kev Mac Butler video shortly. Probably Tuesday or Wednesday. With that said, like always, a clinch fist salute. Even Saremos.